Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Havit. This is the KB395L, which is a low-profile mechanical RGB keyboard that you can check out on Amazon at the time of this review for $67.99. I have that link in the description below where you can check it out. I'll also have a link to Havit where you can check out all the products that they have to offer. If you're looking for a low-profile keyboard uh, that you can type on very comfortably without any sort of wrist rest, this should definitely be on your short list to check out. Let's dig into this and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get everything unboxed, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna, of course, get the main unit itself. You are going to get a detachable 60 inch micro USB cable uh, and you can plug that directly into your PC or laptop, whatever device you're going to use that on. Uh, but you do get 60 inches on that cable, uh, so that's pretty cool. And I like the fact that it's attachable uh, in case you need to, uh, you know, uh, change something out or, or take it with you. You also get a user manual for the HV. KB395L. It is written in English. It will show you how to go through the built-in modes, which I'm going to demonstrate here using your function key and then your F1 through uh, F12 keys. Uh, those will all have built-in functions, plus there's software that we'll go over at the end of the video as well. Let's take a look at this low-profile keyboard, and it is a very low-profile keyboard. Uh, you can see uh, that it's it's super thin. Now, it does have a plastic back on it. Uh, you will see that there is a one spot there to plug in your micro USB. You do have some levelers at the top, so you can put it at an angle if you do wish. Uh, but you have that plastic back, but the deck itself is made out of metal. So that is a good thing, uh, especially for a low profile keyboard if this was all plastic it would be uh, you'd have a lot of sag to it which you don't really get with this particular keyboard uh, in my opinion so overall that's the keyboard let's take a look at the switches here these switches are the kale pg1350 low profile blue switches as you can see, super low profile on these uh, Kale PG1350 low profiles switches. You still get that tactile blue switch feeling here. It's just much shorter than your normal key. Uh, overall, super responsive and awesome. I really do like these. Uh, you can see that the keycap will fit onto these scissor-like uh, prongs that stick out on the left and right side. So you've got kind of a scissor switch, uh, but you've got that uh, Kale PG1350 low profile blue switch in there, and it just it feels super responsive. Okay, so let's look at some of the modes that they give you. Now it starts out on this rainbow mode and it's all gonna be controlled by the function and the F1 keys. You've got a 4104 key layout here. Uh, so you do get that number pad on the right hand side. Uh, you've got your Windows key with the uh, availability to lock that. But what we're gonna be focusing on is the function keys and then the F keys are gonna change. Now the first uh, five of them are going to be a default or DIY. And what you'll be able to do here is switch over and you can actually customize each one of these and then do F12 to save it. So you can customize uh, your uh, F1 through F5 to whatever layout you would like. Uh, so you can have them for different games or different setups. So that's pretty cool. And they also give you a way to, of course, do this through the software, which we'll touch on as soon as I show you the rest of these modes. So you've got one through five there, and those are pretty much just a DIY or how you want to set them up for uh, each scenario. Uh, you can also change the uh, brightness on this with the up and down arrow keys and the uh, speed or direction on the left and right keys holding the function button down as well. Now, if we go back to F6, you're going to see that we have that default rainbow mode 
mode. Uh, and then I'll cycle through a few more modes here so that you can see what's built in. You've kind of got this reactive mode here, which is actually pretty cool. And they did a good job on the keycaps. As you can see, the colors come through very, very nice. Uh, I don't have any problems with this uh, whatsoever. Now this one is just one that'll run down through all the keys uh, and you can switch again the uh, brightness and or of course the speed here uh, to do it faster or slower if you want to so just an option there uh, that you have on some of these uh, and then we can go through a few more this is kind of like a raindrop one that'll do it in multicolors uh, and you guys kind of get the idea on this uh, and then we have a breathing standard breathing mode uh, at f11 i believe is the key that i pressed up for that one uh, so you've got that breathing mode and of course you can uh, speed that up or uh, you can uh, slow it down again as well. So those are your built-in modes. Let's take a look at the software and show you exactly how customizable this keyboard is. Okay, so uh, taking a look at the software, you'll have to go to uh, prohabit.com. I'll have that link in the description below to download the software. You can see that we've got two different modes here. We've got one for macros, and then, of course, we have a, a lighting mode as well at the top. And if we go into macros, you have uh, two different settings. There's game mode and office mode. Game mode will allow you to uh, create macros, allow you to really edit things uh, straight down in uh, and office mode will kind of lock you down. Now you've got uh, a default of 250 hertz all the way up to uh, 1000 hertz on your polling rate. You can add different profiles as well. So if you want to switch between profiles really quickly, you can do that as well. And of course, you can uh, add macros here. Uh, and these can be per key macro. Uh, so you do have macro recording built into this. No problems whatsoever. So very cool that they have that all set up as well. And of course, if I click on one individual key, I'm going to get some options uh, for that key. I'm going to be able to do different sounds or open up different programs or folders, uh, you know, system stuff for Windows. So if I wanted a, a key, a certain key to open a certain folder, uh, I could set a key to do that as well. So that's a very, very nice uh, customization by Habit. Now, if we go to the lighting again, this is super customizable. You can change uh, pretty much every key that you want to. Uh, you've got a bunch of different uh, preset ones that you can use. You can change the colors. Uh, you can change uh, the rate on what they do as well. And then, of course, uh, if you need to set it back to default, the default button on the bottom right will set you back. And, of course, you have those DIY modes or the uh, F1 through uh, F6 at the bottom. Uh, you can see all the different modes that you have here. Now, it doesn't really reflect the mode when you actually select it in the software. Uh, so you'll have to look at the keyboard, but nine times out of 10, the keyboard will be right in front of you while you're doing this. Uh, so you will not have to worry about that. But it's an instant type thing. Once you hit apply, you're good to go. Uh, just a lot of customization here by the software. Overall, this software is really solid. I haven't had any crashes or any problems. I just pretty much installed it. It's you know lightweight, about four megabytes for the program. Works uh, perfectly and didn't have any issues whatsoever. Okay, so that brings me to the end of my review of the KB395L by Habit. Uh, one last thing to mention on the software. The software itself only works under Windows, although you can use this keyboard on Mac and on Linux with the built-in modes. You're not going to be able to use the uh, customization software on anything other than Windows. That being said, if you're a Windows user and you want the full customization and you want to use the program, then this is an excellent, excellent low-profile keyboard. If you're looking for a low-profile keyboard uh, where you're not going to have to have any wrist support and uh, have a very comfortable typing experience, then this Habit keyboard with these Kale switches are excellent low profile and work really, really well. The LEDs on this, or RGB, I should say, is nice and bright. Uh, it just overall has a really nice look to it and a great feel when typing. 
I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this keyboard, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't not subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.